channel. So today I'm going to be talking about tips to stay fit in university grad school edition. So first I have a disclaimer to make. Um, obviously I am aware that some people have disabilities or injuries are reasons why they can't exercise. So I, I'm not here to try and shame people like that. Like even if let's say you're perfectly, you know, um, able and but you have a lot of things going on in your life, it is understandable that it is hard to fit in exercise. The point of this video is just to show you that there are many ways to stay healthy and fit and they don't all have to involve going to the gym, although some people love that, but right now especially not all gyms are open and some people cho choose not to go to the gym because of COVID-19 and maybe financial reasons because a gym membership can be expensive. So I just wanted to say basically, find a way that's realistic for you and fun for you to move your body regularly each week. This isn't directly related to exercise, but it is indirectly linked and very important and cannot be said enough times. So it's to drink water. Many people don't drink enough water and they're dehydrated and their energy levels are low. So I always carry a reusable water bottle. This is one of the many that I have. And I put it in my backpack. I put it on my desk when I'm working at home and it allows me to stay hydrated and then when it's time to exercise I'm not completely dehydrated. Speaking of which, I'm actually kind of thirsty so I'm gonna take a sip. And I spilled some on my face. <laughs> Second, a very easy and underrated way to exercise is to go on walks. So I am lucky in that there's a lot of sidewalks and I live in a more suburban area well, actually in the US, a lot of suburban areas don't have sidewalks. But anyhow, there's a lot of sidewalks in my neighborhood and my school is nearby. So when COVID-19 wasn't a thing, we would walk to school all the time. When I say we, my boyfriend and I, now we don't, we still walk places. We walk to the grocery store, walk up the stairs instead of taking the elevator, etc. And because we have more time on our hands with working mainly from home and just living in an area with a lot of sidewalks we go on walks in evenings and it's a good way to kind of catch up on the day so you can grab a friend go on walks with them especially because social you know events uh, there's less of them so a good way to socialize is to go on a walk with your friend and yeah it's great exercise it feels so good afterwards and you do actually burn calories if that's something that's important to you but i mostly do it for my mental health and yeah so exercise really good way exercise walking really good way of getting some exercise in and also you know one way to make it even more fun is to go hiking and discover new places so i really encourage you to try walking around your neighborhood most people nowadays have access to the internet at least i hope so because especially with the pandemic right now we kind of need the internet but one great resource is youtube there are so many free workouts on youtube there's a lot of different levels. So actually one of my favorite YouTubers is Mad Fit. She's Canadian, so that's great. And she does a lot of really cool varied workouts. So she has really short workouts that are like three minutes long on a popular song. For example, she did one on one of BTS's songs. I think that's their name. They're a current K-pop band, but she also did some on like famous TikTok songs and Megan Thee Stallion, etc. So they're really fun. Those uh, song videos, workout videos are very short and sweet. You can do, you know, just one, let's say you can fit it into two study sessions and just get your endorphins pup in, or you can do multiple ones. Sometimes when I'm really not motivated, I do multiple of her very short workouts. She has longer workouts that range from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. Some of them are full body workouts. Some of them are targeting a certain muscle group. She also has stretch videos. She has low impact videos for people, let's say, that have like maybe joint problems or if you don't want to be jumping around because you have neighbors below. She has a lot of videos for that. So she's she really caters to a wide variety of people. There's also Chloe Ting, who's very popular right now, and she has free workout challenges where you do a certain set of videos for a certain period of time. And there's just many YouTube videos out there. So even before COVID-19, I would do at-home workouts because sometimes I didn't have time to get ready and go to the gym. And it was always a process to get to the gym, change, 
Although sometimes I would already be in my workout clothes, but still walking there, getting changed, getting into the mood, getting access to the machines. It was always longer and sometimes I had a test the next day or now that I'm in my in graduate school, I had like a lot of reading or writing to do, maybe needed to be in the lab. So sometimes you can fit in a really short home workout. You're just at home, you slip on your workout clothes. You don't really need equipment for a lot of those workouts. You just have to have a bit of space and some comfortable workout clothes and then you can knock off like even a 10 minute workout. If you're doing 10 minute workouts regularly, that's still better than nothing. My motto is a workout is better than no workout, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not long. So yeah, I really encourage checking out some of those YouTubers. I will have them linked in the description below. Kind of alongside the whole home workout, I actually have some weights at home. So I know that weights are very hard to find nowadays because everyone during the pandemic has been buying them to work out at home. But one great way to find, you know, workout weights and equipment. So there are two. There's one, it's any thrift shop or Facebook marketplace, somewhere where you can buy them secondhand. Actually, I have a bunch of weights that I got from the local thrift shop and they were much cheaper than what they go for nowadays. And also I've gotten some really nice re resistance bands from Amazon. So I don't, I'm trying to reduce how much stuff I buy from Amazon just because I don't particularly like supporting Jeff Bezos. But as a student, it is very affordable and convenient to have Amazon. So, you know, it's a bit of a balance. I'm trying to purchase less things, but I have found really nice re resistance bands. I'll show them to you. So my boyfriend, he purchased a set of different resistance bands. So there's like 20 pounds, 15 pounds, 25. Um, yeah, there's different weights. There's a smaller one, I think, in our workout gear box. And it's kind of nice. So you can have one. Let's say this one is a 25. You can attach it to these little handles like this. And I'll insert like an example exercise afterwards. But you see here, you can stand on it and, you know, do like bicep curls or different things I'll show you. If you want to increase your resistance and make it really, really higher resistance, you can attach two bands. Ooh. Sorry. There we go. So that's very nice. And I'll put, if I can find the link for this on Amazon, I'll put it in my description. Hopefully it's still, Amazon still um, sells it. Then there's these kind of booty bands. So here they also have, these are the peach bands. They come in this cute little pink pouch and they have different resistances. They have light, they have medium, they have heavy and extra heavy. I don't know if you can see. So, but the thing is these are rubber, so they do tend to snap off. So actually I, during quarantine, <laughs> I repurchased, I purchased a cloth band. This isn't from Amazon. This is from Fit by Bella. She's a Montreal fitness influencer. And I just wanted to support like a local small business. And this is amazing. It has this little like, um, I don't know how you call this, but basically it helps keeps it in place. So it doesn't snap. It doesn't like roll off of you. And this is the medium resistance, but honestly, I find it enough. I do a lot of my booty uh, glutes, uh, what is it called? Activation exercises with it. So yeah, so these are like, if you can't have weights, already resistance bands, you can do a lot with them. If you'd like to incorporate some weight lifting into your, not weight lifting, but like resistance training into your workouts. This is more related to nutrition. There's a fly flying around, but I like to try and incorporate as many fruits and vegetables as possible. So I know fruits and vegetables can be very expensive, especially on the student budget. So I'm lucky in that I work at a farmer's market, well, at our campus farm, and I get some free produce, and we also have a basket for students. So try to look for places where maybe you can find discounted fruits. Sometimes in supermarkets, they have old fruits, which look a bit ugly and are gonna go bad, but they're still good to eat. 
Now, one of my favorite ways to incorporate fruits, especially, is smoothies. And I will, for example, if my bananas are going bad, I will put throw them in the freezer and then I'll add them in a smoothie. I also, we buy a lot of frozen fruit because sometimes frozen fruit are cheaper than fresh fruit, especially if, you know, some fruits that you want like berries aren't in season. So that's a great way to incorporate fruits on a budget. And then if you want to make your smoothie even, you know, more elevated, let's say you could add some protein powder or if you don't really like protein powder, you can add some peanut butter or almond butter or whatever protein you, you kind of whatever kind of protein you like adding to your smoothies let's say if you're allergic to nut butters and you can also add some greens so I like to sometimes add some frozen spinach and as well as you can play around with like water almond milk any non-dairy milks you know dairy milk if you know I, I'm lactose intolerant so dairy milk isn't too great for me so you know you can really make really healthy smoothies ones where there's a ton of fruit or ones where there's just banana and like strawberries and it's just a great way i like to drink them in the morning and it's a great way to just incorporate fruits in your diet and that'll help you be healthier overall and st and stay fit and well i said healthy already but yeah stay healthy overall so final point is to find people or a person to work out with if you're someone who needs someone else to motivate you so i mostly work out alone i just it's been a built-in habit i do enjoy however working out with other people sometimes like sometimes i'll go on a run with my boyfriend or we go on walks every single day so i consider that exercise and it's great to be with him because we just talk and we don't see the walk go by also, another way to have people to work out with is to join like an intramural sport. It might be more difficult now with COVID. I, like you would have to make sure everyone is being safe and washing their hands before, let's say if you're sharing the same ball and maybe wearing masks, depending on like how you com comfortable you feel around these people. But yeah, definitely working out with people, with friends or partners or acquaintances, whatever, it, it can motivate you to work out more and also to keep each other accountable. I hope you found some of my tips helpful. There's always a lot more tips on the internet, maybe certain tricks that you can do to make sure you incorporate your workout. Actually, before we go, I do remember, try and set a couple of days a week where you might have a bit more free time and also a time of day. Some people like to work out in the morning, so it's out of the way. I have been trying to do that more but in the morning sometimes I'm like very sleepy and I don't have a lot of energy and I really need to eat something before I have energy so I tend to work out more in the late afternoons but occasionally I do find like my body wants to work out in the morning so really just find a time slot and schedule it in so then it's a priority and you can't skip it you have to treat it like you know it's work while still enjoying it, enjoying it of course so make sure it's some, some form of exercise you like but still keep yourself accountable, write in a planner when you're gonna work out, etc. So like I said, I hope you found all these tips helpful. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please write them down below. Please, if you like this video and find it helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll have more videos concerning grad school and maybe more fitness related videos also in the future. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.